All right, how to stay lean while bulking up. I'm pretty amped up for this. So what it comes down to is calories, right? I'm gonna get straight to the point. No matter if you've got a clean bulk or a dirty bulk, it really doesn't matter. When it comes to an aesthetic point of view, so looking good, not a health related point of view. So here's the deal. If you wanna minimize fat gain and maximize muscle gain, here's what I want you to do. First of all, you need, you need to understand that you can only gain a certain amount of muscle mass compared to how many calories you're eating. For example, just by eating a surplus of calories of 700 does not necessarily mean you gain more muscle mass by eating in a surplus of 300. Now this does also closely correlate with your training age. So if you're a beginner watching this and you've been training for maybe zero to two years, you can still eat in a calorie surplus of about 300 to 500, that's absolutely fine. If you're a hard gainer, maybe you need to eat in a calorie surplus of 700. If you wanna know how to calculate that, just ask me in the comments down below and I can give you the formula for that. So anyway, that's that, calories is king. Now, one thing you have to realize as well is that just by increasing your calories time after time, it will actually begin to hinder your progress. For example, if you start off 10% body fat, so after summer cut, now all of a sudden you've just jumped up, skyrocketed to like 20% body fat. You don't even know what abs are anymore. You've actually hindered your progress. And the reason being is because you've lost muscle sensitivity. Meaning, all these like calories that you consume, it's not necessarily going more towards muscle growth. Instead, it's going the opposite direction. So muscle sensitivity will get hindered if you increase your calories like loads and loads and loads and just jump your body fat percentage. Now, now that you know that, how do you like control your calories without actually tracking your calories? If you want to track your calories, that's absolutely fine, but some people won't. So let me give you an example or give you some strategies that you can use. My personal opinion, I recommend eating foods that are less energy dense. For example, eat foods like white potatoes, sweet potatoes, obviously way more vegetables, a lot more broccoli, all these kinds of things. This will keep your calories a lot lower, therefore minimizing the amount of fat gain to muscle gain because we know like I said before, that just the bigger the calorie surplus you're eating does not necessarily correlate to more muscle mass growth. So keep that in mind. Now, another factor would also be to increase the amount of protein you eat. Now, protein necessarily is not something special, but having a higher protein intake, you're gonna minimize fat gain because it does some special magic effects in your muscle tissue or with muscle protein synthesis. Well, as to my current knowledge, I don't think it does. All protein does, or the higher protein intake that I'm recommending to you is that it makes you feel a lot fuller. Therefore, you're not gonna eat higher energy dense foods like bread or something like that, right? So number one is your calories. Make sure that your calorie surplus is not too big. Therefore, you will maximize some muscle gain and minimize some fat gain. And like I said before, you can only gain a certain amount of muscle mass at a time. You can't just like, from week zero to week four, just like blow up because you did some like 50 sets of leg extensions or something like that, right? It takes time to build muscle mass. So keep that in mind. So those are the two factors on staying lean while bulking up. Keep your calories in check, small calorie surplus, and also increase your protein intake if you want to keep the calories small without counting your calories like every single day. Because personally, I don't like to count my calories when I'm bulking because that means I'm counting my calories the whole year round and that's not something I wanna be doing. Despite that, I do count the calories in my head because I eat the same foods as well. So I'm roughly estimating how much I'm eating. If that's what you like to do, you can do that as well. So that's that. That's how to stay lean while bulking up, man. Keep your calorie surplus in check. It's really that simple. And one thing, again, I have to mention is that when you go on a bulk, when you go on a calorie surplus, again, you will gain some fat, but the amount of fat you gain is closely correlated to the amount of calories you eat. So keep that in mind. Okay, I've hopped on enough about this one. If you've enjoyed the video, subscribe down below. Don't forget, you're gonna don't forget to turn on post notifications as well if you've seen throughout the whole video, I'll be putting this banner on there and online coaching is not open. Watch some videos here if they interest you. Let's get it, stay positive and stay smiling.